Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, May 8th, 2018. I'm Michael Cox. Oops, ISU has lost some plutonium. We'll tell you more. And I'm Ben Smolden. Like spiders? We've got spider news. The news is next. Seniors, the Community Barcalorette is tomorrow night, Wednesday, May 9th, at 7 p.m. at the NNU Brant Center. Students should arrive at NNU with their cap and gowns by 6.30 p.m. Those who are performing should be there by 6 p.m. to do mic checks. Invitations are now available in your government and English classrooms for you to invite families and friends. If you have any questions about Barclorette, please see Mrs. Dodge in room 676. Refreshments will be provided. Please come and bring others. Let's represent NHS well and have a good showing. Also seniors, even though the early bird special is over and project grad tickets are now $45, the earlier you, the, the earlier you purchase them, the better. They go up again to $50 on May 21st. Don't miss out on the fun at Wahoo's all night and includes unlimited attractions and food and beverages. Plus, don't forget to get in on the door prize drawings, including the three cars which will be displayed out by our flagpole on Friday. Coming up on Wednesday, May 16th, is the NHS Sports Physical Fundraiser event from 3 to 6 p.m. The cost is only $20 and 100% of the fee is donated back to the sports med program. No insurance needed. Put that date on your calendar and take advantage of this great opportunity to get your physical done. Seniors, if you applied for the Idaho Opportunity Scholarship or can't remember if you did, please check your email or notification of your award. The deadline to accept is May 14th. It is important to check your spam slash junk folders. If you need the link to sign in to the website, please see Mrs. Johnson or Mr. A in the College and Career Center. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, on Friday, May 25th, the District Nutrition Service Services have arranged to have food trucks on campus with free samples. So plan on that and don't, don't miss out. The cost of drinking and driving is not worth the risk. And as dumb as it sounds, people are still doing it every day. And it's not just a few people affected, it's 28 in just one day. That's 10,220 people a year, not to mention those who got injured. And you might think that it will never happen to me. Well, just know, everyone is affected by drinking and driving one way or another. So for those of you who still believe that you're invincible, do a favor for those of us who aren't, don't drink and drive. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a great one and see Dr. Keller today. Today is high Thursday with a high of 65 and a low of 41. Tomorrow's high is 72 with a low of, 30, ugh, low of 43. Back to you, Ben. Idaho State University has been fine after a lost tract of a small amount of plutonium-239, a substance used to make nuclear weapons. University officials say the sample missing since 2003 does not pose a direct health issue or risk to public safety. The school realized it lost track of the plutonium earlier this year and immediately notified the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. The ISU officials said the sample weighing a gram was lost as it was being taken out of service after employees only partly filed out the necessary paperwork. Although the ISU believes the tiny speck of plutonium was transferred to a licensed disposal facility, there are no records to prove that it was. The commission has been, the commission fined the university 8,500 8, for the lost plutonium. Scientists trained a spider they called Kim to jump on demand in order to discover the science of how spiders jump on their prey. In their study, Scientists discovered that Kim is capable of leaping six times her body length from a standing start. Humans are capable of jumping only around 1.5 body lengths. A study studying these leaps is in arachnids. Scientists from the University of Manchester could manage to develop a new series of flexible robots 
that would have the properties of animals in nature. By understanding how spiders jump on prey, according to a report by BBC News. The SAT word of the day is integrity, which means uncompromising adherence to moral and ethical principles, sound, soundness and moral character, honesty. You could use it this way. When the senator was caught stealing from his campaign, his intelligence and integrity were questioned. Thanks for watching and live, live the, the bulldog, bulldog way. way.